AI has been a big topic lately in the thumbnail design space and a lot of people are worried about losing their jobs because of it. So in today's video, I'll be testing things out by trying to recreate some of Mr. Beast's thumbnails using AI. Throughout the video, I'll share a bunch of helpful tips and tools, and at the end, we'll compare the results to see whether AI can actually replace thumbnail designers. So without further delay, let's jump in. For the first thumbnail, I wanted to create something that looks like a typical Mr. Beast style thumbnail. I started by opening a new Photoshop document with the usual size of 1280 by 720 pixels. Then I sketched out a rough layout for the thumbnail. And honestly, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Mr. Beast will be on the left side and please forgive my terrible drawing. It might be the worst thing you'll see today. And on the right side, there's a hydraulic press with a car placed between them. The concept is simple and I think A, I should be able to handle it easily. One trick I like to use for getting a good prompt for an AI image generator is to actually ask ChatGPT to write the prompt for me. So for example, I'll tell it, create a prompt for a red Lamborghini Aventador placed between two presses in the Mr. Beast art style. Then I just wait for ChatGPT to do its thing. Once the prompt is ready, I copy it and use it in my favorite image generator. There are plenty of great sites for image generation, but honestly, I think Sora AI is one of the best for thumbnails. It delivers high quality results and supports different art styles, which is perfect for this kind of project. I tweak the settings to fit what I need and make sure the aspect ratio is set to horizontal so it fits well in a thumbnail. Then I just let the AI do the rest. As you can see, after a few generations, these are the results I got. Honestly, they look really good. They're not perfect, but I really like the level of realism in them. So I picked one of the images and downloaded it to use in our thumbnail. After some thought, I decided on this specific one. It turned out great. I just needed to upload it to Pixel Cut to uncrop and adjust the aspect ratio so it fits the thumbnail properly, like this. But as you can see, the AI added a few random elements in the image. So using the retouch tool, I selected and erased those unwanted parts, just like that. Pixel Cut is honestly one of the best tools out there. It's super underrated and I definitely recommend checking it out. Now I'm uploading the cleaned up image to the canvas and resizing it. Here, I noticed the Lamborghini logo didn't look quite right, so I removed it using the eraser tool, just like this. After that, I export the image and open a tool called Upscale. I select my image and the software upscales it for me. This tool is honestly great, and just to be clear, it's not sponsored. It's completely free and uses your own PC's GPU, so if you have a decent computer, I highly recommend using it over online upscalers. It's also much faster than most alternatives. Once the upscale is done, I drag the image back into the thumbnail file and apply a quick camera raw filter to make it clearer and crisper. While adjusting the sliders, I notice that an orange or yellowish Lamborghini actually looks better than the red one, so I'm sticking with the orange version like this. Next, let's add Mr. Beast to the thumbnail. As you can see, the quality isn't great, so I'll quickly upscale the image to make it look more like this. To help him blend better with the rest of the thumbnail, I'll add a subtle inner glow like this, maybe even a shadow behind him, and finally apply a camera raw filter to tie everything together. To be honest, I'm not too happy with how the thumbnail turned out. It doesn't really match Mr. Beast's style, especially with the car looking so realistic. His thumbnails usually have a more cartoonish, exaggerated look, and this one feels too lifelike, so for now, I don't think AI is quite ready to fully replace human designers. But let's give it another try with a different Mr. Beast style thumbnail. All right, moving on to the second thumbnail. This time, I wanted to create something inspired by this Mr. Beast thumbnail, but set in the desert instead of the beach. So once again, I headed over to ChatGPT and asked it to generate a prompt for a floating gold Lamborghini in the desert with jet engine style tires, something like this. Then, just like before, I copied the prompt and pasted it into Sora AI and waited for the magic to happen. After a few generations, I ended up with this image right here. And honestly, I really like it. It has more of that Mr. Beast cartoonish style and feels much closer to what we're aiming for. So I decided to use it for this thumbnail. I added it to the canvas, removed the far sky and the skyscrapers and kept just the car and the desert, like this. Then I added Mr. Beast's face, upscaled it and made him a bit bigger to match the scene. After that, I applied a camera raw filter to the car to make it pop more and also gave Mr. Beast a subtle inner glow, just like we did in the first thumbnail. Next, I brought in a background with some skyscrapers, removed the original sky and replaced it with a bluer one. I even added a few clouds here and there to bring in a bit more realism. I also adjusted the tone of the buildings to a cooler blue to help them blend better with the overall scene. Finally, I applied a camera raw filter to make the thumbnail pop even more. And that's it. Here's the final result. 
Honestly, I like this one much more than the first. By the way, if you're looking for custom YouTube thumbnails, check out my Fiverr page in the description below. I offer high quality thumbnails at a great price with fast delivery. I've worked with clients from all over the world and it's super easy to order. Your support helps me keep making these videos, so feel free to take a look. Now let's move on to the last thumbnail. And this one's definitely the hardest to recreate in this episode. We'll follow the same process, but this time I'm going to challenge myself a bit. I'll try to come up with a prompt on my own using the two brain cells I have left. I'll write the prompt here and then jump back once it's ready. After that, I'll hit enter and let the AI do its thing. The amazing part about AI is that once you have a strong idea and a good prompt, the rest is pretty much automated. Seriously, in just a few years, the value will shift even more toward the idea itself not the process. So if you want to succeed as a designer in the future, I highly recommend training your creativity and thinking outside the box. That's what will set you apart. Now I'll leave you with a speed art of me doing my best to recreate this thumbnail. I don't think I need to give a full voiceover since the process is basically the same. Write the prompt, generate, expand, upscale. For this one though, I decided to add a bit more of a human touch. I gave Mr. Beast some scars and ripped clothes to make him look more realistic and better fit the tone of the thumbnail. Then, as always, I applied a camera raw filter to bring it all together. Honestly, this is my favorite thumbnail we've made so far. And if you ask me, I don't think AI is ready to fully replace thumbnail designers, at least not for now. You still can't create a complete thumbnail from start to finish using only AI. That human touch is still essential. So my advice is don't stress about it. Instead, try to adapt and use AI as a tool to help you create better thumbnails. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see how I designed a Magnates Media thumbnail from scratch, check out this video right here. It's full of useful tips. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.